Hi, welcome to the full stack development with Angular 8 and Spring Boot. So looking at our development process, in this video, we're going to concentrate on the step six, which is modify the book list component to accept the route parameter. So let's begin. So moving into Visual Studio Code, let's open the booklist.component.ts. First of all, I'm going to inject the activated route to the constructor. Let's create a private field, private underscore activated route, which is of type activated route. We have imported it from the Angular router package. And in the down inside the ng on init, I'll subscribe to the param map this dot activated route dot param map dot subscribe and the parameter which is a callback function so inside that we're going to call the list books method so within our list books method i'm going to get the parameter before that, I'm going to check whether the activated route contains the ID parameter or not. So this dot activated route dot, we're going to make use of the snapshot approach, snapshot dot param map dot, we have a method called has, this will return a Boolean. So let's check for the ID parameter and if the activated route contains the ID parameter, then it will return true. So let's store that in a variable const has category, has category ID, uh, which is a Boolean type. So in the down, I'll do a small check. If has category ID is true, Then we are going to get the parameter. So we know that we have a ID parameter inside the activated route. So we will make use of the get method from the param map interface. So let's pass the parameter name ID and we're going to store that in a variable. So this will return actually the string. So we will make use of the plus operator to convert it to an integer. And in the above, I'm going to create a variable current category ID, which is of type number. So let's store that in the current category ID, this dot current category ID. So now we have a current category ID and if the activated route does not contain the ID, then we're going to set a default category ID. This dot current category ID, you can set in number you want, okay? The category should be exists, okay? I'll set this to one. This is the default category in this case. So let's save this. And in the next video, we're going to pass this category ID to our list books, get books method. So that is coming up in the next video. I will see you in the next video.